Hello, y'all on YouTube. This is Rob with the Rob's Nerdy Knives. Today we have a very special unboxing. Something came in from Blade HQ. So, it's a big box. A lot of stuff in here. Basically, I think I replenished some giveaway things that I needed, and they had some good deals, some sales. So I took advantage of it. Today I'm opening up with my Sharp by Design uh, Evo Typhoon. My favorite um, Sharp by Design blade out there. I think we might have multiple unboxings here. We'll take everything out and get to see it in this video, but then we'll have different unboxings, okay? So let's see what we got. All right, the first thing we've got here is a petrified fish. Next thing we have here is a fox blade. I think that's going to be its own unboxing. Kershaw. Let's see what we have over here. I have a sharp by design. That'll be its own unboxing. CJRB. Another CJRB. We got a whole bunch of stickers and a Ferrum Forge. That's a pretty good box there. All right. Uh, I'm pretty sure I know what this one is. This one I think we've had before. Yeah, this is a large pyrite. And I've done the unboxing and reviewed this. But I figured, hey, let's just uh, add this to the collection. This is the steel one. I had the carbon fiber, I think, last time. Oh, yeah. Oh yeah, that's nice. That's robust. Someone's gonna really enjoy that. It's got some weight to it, feels solid in the hand. Yeah, that will be a good giveaway. Definitely like that. So that's cool. All right, we'll put that back in the box. Like, like I say, I, I don't really get free stuff. I mean, I get some free stuff here and there, but most of the giveaways that I do on the reg weekly basis is stuff that I buy myself. Thanks to the channel, thanks to the subscribers, thanks to members, you guys. So I appreciate you guys. You allow me to give back to you. All right, the next one is another pyrite. I thought it would be fun to do this one. I don't think I've done this one in a long time. So let's take a look at this. This is the Warn Warney. That Warney with the uh, Fuller. I like this one a lot. This was a really good one. So that's another giveaway. We've Unbox that. We've done a review on it before, so that is a no knife. So we'll go ahead and put that over there. The next one is this Kershaw. Now this is the Iridium, and I've done several Iridiums. I've had special versions. I've had the first one I believe was aluminum scales, D2. Then we did an M390, and let's see what this one is. This is looks like aluminum scales, reverse Tonto. What's the steel on this one? D2. So this is a reverse Tonto on this one. I think that's pretty cool. I like that. It's kind of like, call it reverse Tonto or maybe Warncliffe, right? Maybe Warncliffe, maybe Sheep's Foot, maybe Modified, whatever you want to call it. But again, nice aluminum scales with steel liners on the inside. Reversible clip. Uh, just a really good knife. A good, nice size knife. You can really get in the hands. Good for everybody's shape and size. So that's another one that we've done before and I think is going to be a great, great, exciting giveaway. So, so far, most of you guys will know, you've, you've seen unboxing, reviews on some of these, so, you know, nothing new so far, but just get an idea of the stuff that I like to do for giveaways. I like knives that I would buy as gifts, or knives that I would carry in my car or something like that. I wanted it to be something worthwhile. All right, so let's do the petrified fish. Because I believe, yeah, I believe this was loan, a, a similar one was loaned to me. And um, I already did a review on this one, so I'm pretty sure. Let's take a look, though. Oh, it came with extra hardware. Yeah, I think this looks familiar. This is the Beluga. And if you haven't seen the video on this one, I did do an unboxing on this one. But I think the one I did was green. This is, oh, G10, really nice deep pocket carry clip. Uh, reversible clip. Look at that. It does reverse. It's a front flipper with a fuller. Oh yeah. Nice big belly. K110 steel. K110 is like uh, Bowler's D2 version, right? It is a front flipper. Works really, really nice. Uh, action's pretty decent for a budget knife, I think. It's definitely got contoured scales. Yeah, we've done this one. So this is a cool one. We'll do a little more on that one. Um, so go check my review and my unboxing on the Beluga, but a really, really, really nice knife. I think it's definitely going to be a great giveaway. Oh, this has got some good size too. 
I think somebody's going to really enjoy that. It's a, I know some of you guys who like bigger knives. This is worthwhile. This would be a great, great work knife, car knife, yard knife. Yeah, really, really good. So, if, you know, I mean, for somebody else, this may be their, their you know, very nice knife because it's, it's got a nice blackout. So what, what that does, it also makes it a really kind of discreet knife, you know, you can carry to work. You know, it's, it's a nice knife. I think that's pretty cool. So that's another knife that I have unboxed, I have reviewed. Uh, the one that I did, it was, was a loaner to the channel. So now we've got four knives that we know we're going to give away. So I have a few other ones here. So this will, we'll, we'll do two other unboxings over here. I'm going to do this fox knife because I've never, never handled a fox knife before. Um, so let's look at this. Does it say on here it's FX612? So I don't know what that means. Uh, I think this is a budget sort of fox knife, if there's such a thing. Let's see. It comes in a nice case. What else do we have here? We have a screw. And what else is in here? We have uh, warranty. We have, we make it sharp. Is there anything? Yeah, it's just a little, does it fold? Yeah, there it goes. Okay. Yep, there's, there, there you go. Yeah, I like the little bag. We'll put that off to the side here. And let's look at this. G10, reversible pocket clip. Looks like Spyderco, so you could probably put a Spyderco clip in there. Uh, you've got a flipper here. No jimping on there, but that's all right. It's got a fuller or, or a thumb hole. That's pretty cool. You should be able to get into that. It is rounded, chamfered all the way around. It's got a full backspacer with some jimping, which means it's gonna have some nice texture. All right, it's got some weight to it, so let's see. Okay, ooh, that's like a Tonto uh, version with a little pseudo swedge on there. That's more than an aesthetic swedge. A very stout little blade, uh, really thick, really thick. It is a liner lock. It's in there nice and solid. Let's see, does that clear the detent? Let me see, where's the detent? I'm trying to figure. Okay, you cleared the detent right there. All right. Um, let me see, where does the ball go? Right there, okay. So you've got a clear, all right. Oh, that's a thick blade. Oh, that's a stout detent. Very stout detent. Ooh. Let's see, can I do left-handed? Oh, it's, it's hard. I would definitely have to tune this if this was my own knife, but I'm gonna leave it as is, because somebody who wins this could potentially say, Man, I like a strong detent, but it's a thick, thick blade. Definitely a single flat grind all the way on the top. Black stone washed, I would call that. Um, FX612 is the name of the blade. What is the steel on here? Does it say that? N690. Okay, so this is N690. I think it's the first time I've, I've done 690. Uh, maybe, I think. I don't know. I can't remember. Oh, that's a stout, a stout detent going reverse flick here. Oh. Got to do the meat of my finger, and it's going to hurt if I do this too much. Yeah, I would definitely have to tune that, and, and you can feel it. It's good axis here. Uh, well, okay, there's a little cutaway. It does cut out this way. It's wide enough that I can get my hand in there, but it is a strong detent, so I would definitely loosen that up, because after a while, that's going to be a little rough on the hand. But the weight of the blade oh, is so heavy that it does do a, a drop shut but that's mainly due to the weight of the blade. That detent otherwise, I mean, if a detent wasn't as strong as it was, this thing would be more drop shutty. I have to shake it to get it down. The flipper does work. Um, I will say the flipper is one of those, can, yeah, you can push button it. You can do the light switch. I will say, yeah, you can definitely do that. I will say that you've got to have a good hand in, a uh, good hand on there. If your hand is slipping and you push it down at the same time, you don't get enough. It can definitely you can lose some of that leverage. All right, so let's look at that edge. Feels pretty strong. It's got a nice point. Definitely a tanto there, uh, like a clip point tanto. It's a it's a clip tanto. That that well, let's stop. Hold on. Might have to edit that out. I didn't mean to say that. It's a clip point tanto. I let's just leave it at that because yeah, we'll just leave it at that. Anyways, um, yeah, interesting. Blue G10. Not necessarily my favorite color, but it's definitely cool. It's different. It's got some texture on there. I like that. It is pretty centered. It might be off a little bit to the left. Let's see. Any blade play? No. Uh, no. No blade play. Any pivot lash? No. How about detent? Nice clicky detent. Any detent lash? No. Let's listen to that detent again. Nice clicky detent. Oh, God. That's strong. <laughs> Golly. 
All right, so let's go ahead and zoom in on this guy here. Let's take a look at that that uh, blade there. That is the the clip point and a tanto together, and that is K three ninety, I believe. Right? Is that what I said? Yeah. You see, oh, N N six ninety N six ninety. So there you go. And let's look at the scales right there. Reversible clip. It is a wire clip, so you could do a a spidey clip. I think that would fit in there. I'm pretty sure. All right, so there you go. It is a liner lock. You can see that. Uh, I will say there is a good finger choil. I mean, you can choke up and it works pretty well like that. You can't, if you got big meaty fingers like me, you don't want to do a full grip like that. You want to definitely pull the choke up here. Works great in a little pinch grip like that. That definitely would work well. Uh, no jimping on top, but it's really flat and solid up there. Uh, we got steel liners inside. I don't know if this is G10. This might be FRN now that I think about it. Feeling this, this doesn't feel like G10. It feels like uh, FRN, like molded plastic, injection molded plastic. I don't know. I'll have to look it up, but we'll have a link to the knife down below for sure, right? Wow, that is a heavy, heavy duty knife. Flipper, really solid. Um, it's got a thick blade. This is a thick blade. We'll, we'll get the, to the review on this one, but man, that is a thick, thick blade. Wow. Feels like it's on cage bearings. Uh, definitely got a big blade stop. The, the liner lock looks pretty cool. Uh, backspacer, definitely textured. Uh, I don't know if that's steel or aluminum. Can't quite tell. It does look like T8s all the way around. That's interesting. Oh, very cool. All right, well, cool knife. I have large hands and it does fit me it, right at the edge. So if you have extra large hands with normal size fingers, it'll probably fit you. Double extra large hands with thinner fingers, it'll fit you. If you have anything bigger, you're probably gonna be at three and a half. Now, if you use that choke up position, you definitely have a little bit more room. But you get really big meaty fingers, you gotta be careful how you hold that up here, right? I'm not gonna be able to hold it like that because that's gonna get that, that sharpening choil, it's gonna start cutting in my hand and that's dangerous. So just my two cents on that. Definitely on the smaller size for the scale. But it's it's a big scale. So if you've got thinner fingers, not meaty fingers, and longer hands, you longer fingers, you you will like this. I think it would work really nicely. So very cool. So that is the Fox uh, Fox uh, knives uh, six twelve BLB. I'm not exactly sure which one that was. Did I have a receipt? I didn't see a receipt in there. Dang it. All right, I'll have to I'll have to look that up. Uh, maybe I'll have it right here. <laughs> If not, it'll be in the description down below. But very cool, very cool little knife, I think. It's definitely not a gigantic knife. I mean, we're looking at a knife about seven and a half inches, right? I mean, but that blade, ooh, that thickness. Oh, so you gotta clear that detent to get past there, right? Um, yeah, once you clear that detent, you're good. Oh, man, that detent is just ridiculous. All right, you can hear it, it just pops out. So, such a heavy blade, wow. Yeah, interesting. Okay, very cool knife. So let's get a nice, ooh, almost dropped it. Let's get a nice close up there of the blade. What do you say? There's that Fox Knives. Very, very cool. What the, I think plastic injection mold at scales. Let's look at the back with the clip. Really cool. I like that. Let's look at the liner lock here. You can definitely see that. Steel insert, steel liners inside with some weight relief cutouts. Backspacer back here, it looks like a titanium, I'm getting, I don't know, let's see, is it steel? That might be titanium, I don't know, aluminum. Doesn't seem to have too much uh, attraction. I mean, the liners inside here are steel and they're definitely more attracted to that thing, um, so. Yeah, very cool, very cool little knife. I think definitely something worth considering. I think it's gonna be a very cool giveaway. I'm excited to give this one away. This will be a fun one. So there you go, that's the Fox Knives. Um, all right, well, hey, if you have any questions about this, some of these giveaways, some of the things I've already opened and you're not sure about those videos, let me know. And you can always do a search for Rob's Nerdy Knives and those, uh, you know, the Kershaw Iridium, the Petrified Fish of Beluga the uh, CJRB Warncliffe um, Pyrite with the fuller, with the thumb hole, and then the large Pyrite uh, drop point. Both of those are, uh, one's a button lock and one is a liner lock, so there you go. Uh, I, did, I did review all of those. Definitely some cool knives to check out. Um, but if you have any questions about them, let me know, let me know. Um, also, 
If you found this content fun, interesting, worthwhile, or informative, would you please consider hitting the like button down below? And if you've already hit that like button, would you please consider hitting the subscribe button? Subscribing and liking the videos really helps out the channel. It allows the channel to grow, produce more content, do more things, ultimately do more things for you guys. So thank you. Thank you to all you people who watch the videos, who like the videos, and who, you know, at times subscribe. I appreciate every one of you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And if you haven't already, hit that notification button down below so you can be notified of future content like this video. I sure appreciate you guys watching. Hey, and to all my channel members, a big thank you. To those of you who've been here since the beginning, those who joined along the way, and those who've become channel members recently, thank you very much. If you're interested in, or you've been on the fence, you say, hey, I'd like to become a channel member, check out the link down below. There's a link for three different uh, tiers of membership. I would love to have you. Please don't feel any pressure to join. I just appreciate you being here, watching the videos, liking the videos, being on the live streams. Thank you for all of that. But as a quick way to, for me to say thank you to the channel members, I do a once a month members giveaway. It's very exclusive. It's a very cool knife. I usually try to make it a little nicer, especially with all the members that we've had lately. So it's my way to say thank you. And also, um, you know, uh, we're in May. As of this video, uh, we haven't done the May giveaway yet, but you know, there's gonna be a nice May giveaway video. And then also, uh, 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 for all members, if you become a brand new member and you haven't asked me yet, email me with your name and address. I'd love to mail you a sticker. It's my way to say thank you. And if you've been a member for a while and you're still a member right now and you haven't asked for a sticker, email me as well. I'd love to send you out that sticker. There's also other exclusive content, some exclusive stickers for the Uber Knife Nerds and some other things like that. So it's my way to say thank you to you guys. I really appreciate you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. If you haven't already, check me out on Instagram at robs underscore nerdy underscore knives. Again, that's on Instagram at robs uh, 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 robs underscore nerdy, underscore knives. Thanks so much for watching. Have a great day and a great week. Bye.